Hi everyone, it's Maria Desmondi and I'm at a local coffee shop because our internet is down. I just recorded this video at 12.30 for you and it didn't save. So I'm here again with my son Dexter. He is building a Lego set. I love you. I love you too. Okay, so what we're talking about today, we're on day four of the challenge. Listen, if you're tuning in right now and you're thinking, Maria, I haven't even done day three, day two, day one, go back and do it when you've got time. No big deal. Don't give yourself a hard time. But I will tell you, I don't know if it's just because she's my friend or because she um, is really enjoying the challenge, but I spent some time this morning with one of my mom friends, and she's getting a lot out of the challenge, and she said last night the uh, workbook piece was really powerful for her. So... Uh, if you haven't done the Family Values workbook page, day three, be sure to check that out. Okay, so you guys, today, day four, we are talking about self-love. Self-love or self-care, okay? We're talking about the importance of self-care and that the fact that self-care is truly self-love because you cannot give what you do not have. As parents, it is so hard for us to give what we do not have. So this day today, I want you to think about, first of all, I want you to think about what really fills you up. What really, may, I'm trying to get this little girl out of the video. <laughs> what, <laughs> what really um, fills you up and what makes you feel alive? What makes you feel good about life? What makes you feel like you can really take on parenting, like you can take on the day? Okay, so for me, I really enjoy walking. That's huge for me. Being outside is a big one for me. Um, my friend mentioned date nights. Yeah, date nights fill me up too, for sure. We are at the point in our marriage where we can barely speak between the hours of 6 and 8 p.m. because everyone is in our family is like fighting for my husband's attention. Like the kids want to talk to Papa and I want to talk to Papa. So it's really hard to communicate right now and with, with each other when the kids are around. So what I want you to think about, one, is what really fuels you, okay? Self-care is not selfish. I believe self-care is necessary to thrive. The second part is we are going to today, and this is sad because I don't have friends to interact with. They were all interacting 15 minutes ago when I did this. But then what I want you to do is grab the workbook, and in the workbook, what you're going to do is you're going to commit to your self-care. Hold on, buddy. You are going to commit to your self-care. So, for example, there's a few things I want to do. Um, I want to focus on physical health. I recently had a surgery, and I haven't really felt my best. And um, it's flu season right now here in Michigan. So I want to really focus on self-care um, self in the form of physical health. So what I really want to do is I want to um, get our vitamins stocked back up in our home. And I want to also uh, take care of some of these, like, uh, facial moisturizers that I want to make so that I can put them on before bed like they're natural facial moisturizers so those are a couple things I'm going to commit to and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some time after this call to put it in my calendar you guys get it in your calendar so we're on day four um, we're on day four right now of the parenting with purpose challenge we have one more day to go tomorrow and it's a big one it's a doozy so do today talk about self-care Make sure that you take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. I'm going to sign off because this is the second time I've done this. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow, probably from my own home. <laughs>